Welcome to Harp Explorer. My name is Motoshiko Sako, harpist, composer, improviser. On this video series, I would like to share interesting cutting edge modern harp technique. On this video, I'd like to talk about free improvisation. Free improvisation is uh, different from the regular improvisation we do on jazz, like playing jazz standard tune and then part of the performance we improvise. In that case, we are making our own arrangement and moment and performing. But what I want to talk about today is composing the music in the moment and perform at the same time. So this kind of <coughs> free improvisation. Often people associate free improvisation with like a random notes, kind of noise kind of music or sound experiment. But I'm not talking about that kind of music. I'm talking about composing sophisticated music in a moment. The process is not so different from regular uh, composition. The biggest difference is uh, the time. In the moment of improvisation, we don't have so much time to think or plan. So we use a lot of intuition. Sometimes intuition comes from your feeling, your emotion, and a lot of time actually intuition coming from the habit we built between our body and the instrument. Often people say like, oh, my hands know where to go next that kind of feeling but actually for me um, depending on our moving habit is not really the way to do the improvisation because body can do certain things very well but actually they stay with in that range and the music doesn't grow from that limited range so we need to definitely use the intellect to be able to move music onto something uh, we are not comfortable with. So the balance is very difficult, but I would like to show uh, some tips probably uh, useful. The first step of free improvisation for me is always choosing a style. In other words, how to begin the music. And this is kind of important for me because uh, when you ask to talk about something, you need to think about what you talk about, right? And you just don't open mouth and then say random word. Maybe some people make a speech like that, but I don't actually. Let's say this is a concert and I, I just play something very very loud and uplifting and up tempo so to balance the concert and now okay I, I want to play some improvisation so I decide to play some ballad and then the ballad style uh, which which style of ballad I want to play so maybe I want to play jazz and is that maybe three four or four four or I want to play more classical or Renaissance style music, or I want to play like a Baroque music, uh, like counterpoint or something like that. So, if I decide to do something like a Renaissance hymn, I try to use the very simple uh, harmonic structure. Or if I want to do it more like a jazz ballad and kind of a little bit uh, um, dark, for example, and maybe I can start with some like augmented chord or something that. Uh,
or if you decide to use uh, like a harmonic sound and then maybe if you want to have like a grissando something like a little dreamy and then you want to play some melody with the harmonics and you can do something like Other way to uh, decide how we start music, I try to choose the technique I use. So the previous example is like, I, I kind of started with the idea of slow and ballad-ish music, and then I picked the technique, which is harmonics and grissando. And um, also you can, uh, you can think about what part of the music you emphasize. You want to emphasize melody, you want to emphasize harmony, you want to emphasize the rhythm. For example, uh, if you want to emphasize melody, you can just start from with a melody, like a single melody. Um, If you decide to do a little more polyphonic thing here, like a If you want to uh, emphasize the rhythm, for example, you can make some kind of a bass line with a groove, like a for example, like if you come up with this and you try to keep this kind of rhythm. something like that. Another easy method for free improvisation is mimicking the kind of form of existing piece. For example, uh, you know that uh, La Sauce, and I kind of forgot, and <laughs> just I can't remember how, how the finger goes, but uh, if I use this pattern, uh, like a bass and left and then four finger arpeggio something like that and then uh, make a melody on the top notes so if I do use something like this and then make music and then let's start from around here okay Something like that, keep going on and on. So there are lots of different way or different approach to the improvisation. And actually today I just 
uh, do a little bit of a sneak peek of different styles. But uh, on the other videos, I would like to dig deep on each one of these styles and how I improvise on that style of music. And today, I would like to show the example of using somebody's compositions uh, fingering pattern and then making uh, improvisation on, on that. So the tune I picked today is a Bach uh, C major prelude, and this one. So most of the part of the uh, improvisation, I use this pattern, and then, but I use a variation, like uh, instead of repeating the same thing twice. Moving on to the next chord, sometimes I just do once. And then adding something. And then some variation, like a... Something like that. So um, I play uh, entire uh, box pretty only like two minutes long, and then after that I play uh, the improvisation on box C major prelude. So I hope you uh, enjoy uh, this video and the performance. By the way. If you want to support me, uh, you can download uh, my recording from my website or get CD from cdbaby.com. Actually, yeah, I'm not making any money out of making YouTube. I'm doing this because I don't know when I'm going to die, actually. My brother, my older brother died when he was 45 years old. And I'm 49 right now, and I'm thinking about this a lot actually. Um, I never uh, teach any of this idea to anybody, so if I die, this idea is gone. But uh, I think I, I know something uh, kind of useful for somebody, so I just, just in case I die, still you can watch this video and then kind of get some ideas of what I have been doing in my uh, happiest life. So. I just hope uh, some young people uh, enjoy this video and then try to uh, explore this instrument.